combating nutrition disinformation and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live. And I've got an episode of Jimmy Rants for you guys here today. So if you're brand new to Jimmy Rants, check us out, JimmyRants.com. And what we do is we start off over on Instagram. So go follow me there, at Livin' Low Carb Man, L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N. And you can follow me there and join in on the conversations as they happen live. If you miss me live, then you can catch me on the replay uh, up for up to 24 hours on Instagram. Then we pop them over onto YouTube. Uh, if you just type in Jimmy Rants in a search, you will find my YouTube videos of these rants, which were in the 90s now. And then finally, we have a Jimmy Rants podcast, which has the best of the best moments from these here Jimmy Rants. Again, it's all housed at JimmyRants.com. So today's Jimmy Rants, and you'll notice I have a different background today. This is my recording studio, you guys. So when I record podcasts, this is where the magic happens inside this soundproof room. Uh, it's on my property. I have a, a podcast recording studio. I put the, the egg crate stuff up on the wall, but uh, pretty cool, huh? So I wanted to talk about pushing yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. And one of the things that I do now that I'm probably uh, most famous for besides writing books is doing podcasts. And there's the magical microphone where I do all of the recording and my Bose headphones that I wear when I do podcast recordings. And people know my voice around the world now because of the Living La Vida Low Carb Show and Keto Talk, Keto Hacking MD podcast. Uh, I've done uh, the Nutritional Pearls podcast, Jimmy Rants, this one here, uh, as well as some older podcasts. I've done Fasting Talk and One More Thing and Low Carb Conversations. If it's a podcast, I've done it. And so you might be thinking, okay, you always were interested in broadcasting, which I was, as a kid, I was enamored by Casey Kasem and was always um, enamored by the craft of doing talking behind the microphone. But I never thought I was good at it. I never thought that I could do anything with that. And yet, because I was allowing myself to be pushed and to push myself harder into doing it, because of that, uh, I now podcast and do it for a living. Um, and so I wanted to share share with you guys, so if you're longtime fans of my work, and maybe you don't remember, when I first started podcasting, it was in October of 2006. A lot of you guys weren't in this community at the time, but I want to I wanna share with you my very first podcast that I did on the Living La Vida Low Carb Show. I'm going to turn that on on the camera. So there's the Living La Vida Low Carb Show. There is episode number one. If you go to my website, which is thelivinglowcarbshow.com, if you go there now, episode one is up there now. If you look under the, the archives, that right there, you can scroll down to Living La Vida Low Carb Show, and then you can see all the past episodes. But here is the very first episode of the Living La Vida Low Carb Show. This is the highly anticipated debut episode of my brand new show, 
And I'm so glad you could join me today as we begin this exciting new adventure together to learn how to lose weight, get healthy, and change lives in the process. All thanks to the incredible benefits of living La Vida Low Carb. Thanks so much for joining me in this journey towards better health. Now, before I get started, I would like to thank Grasshopper New Media. All right, so enough of that. That shows you the humble beginnings that this show started with. And of course, that was 2006. So the, uh, the advancements in technology, I don't even think this microphone here was even invented yet. When I first started podcasting, I was using this Plantronics uh, little headset that was a headset with a little microphone on the end. And as you can hear, the quality is horrible uh, as compared to the shows that we do today. And today's episodes are so much clearer than, than that one. All right, so let me see if I can pull up the one that aired today. We're doing the low-carb hey, hey guys. cruise lecture. Easium, potassium, uh, you've ever... Owl. It's a quick and easy... Oh, chow, Low-carb cruise leaving out on May 1st, 2019 as the 12th annual low-carb cruise to the Bahamas. We also have another Keto 101 cruise sailing out September 28th, 2019. Get full details at lowcarbcruiseinfo.com. All right, so yeah, so you hear the quarants is big time different than it was way back in 2006. 2006, uh, I think I was talking to Fred Flintstone. Uh, that's how long ago it was in the podcasting world. It literally was the Stone Ages. So if you're just joining us, it's a little bit different kind of, of Jimmy rants for you today because I want to encourage you to push yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. And here I am sitting inside this podcast recording studio with all this fancy smancy egg crate stuff on the wall and the fancy microphone, the fancy headphones to tell you I didn't know what the heck I was doing when I first started podcasting. Didn't know anything about podcasting. I did a little bit of Christian radio back in the 90s, and that was Amy Grant. Now here's Michael W. Smith. Literally all I did. Didn't know anything about interviewing people, but I did it. And I pushed myself to do it. And I learned on the job. I, I tell people I learned how to podcast when nobody was listening to podcasts. So so now that they listen to podcasts, um, it sounds like, oh, wow, they've been seasoned veteran. Well, yeah, I've done it for a long time. And it didn't happen just overnight. I had to learn and get good. And so I want you guys to think about areas in your life where you can push yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. Because if you'd have told me in high school that this is what I'd be doing for a living, uh, doing podcasts and writing books and, and all that, especially within the health realm, I would have laughed in your face. And yet here I am. That's exactly what I'm doing. And the reason I'm doing it is I pushed myself to do things I didn't think I would be good at. Now, I've always loved to write, so I knew someday I would be writing uh, but it's, it's just hilarious that it's in the health realm because, uh, again, as a kid, if you'd have told me I'd have been a health book author and have three international best-selling books, I would have so, so laughed in your face. It wouldn't have been funny. But the lesson here is we are capable of so much more than we give, give ourselves credit for. A lot of people, they come to life and they look at it in this way. If I'm not able in my own head to wrap myself, uh, wrap my head around me being able to do some X skill, then I can't do it. And I'm here to tell you that's hogwash. Hogwash. If you put your mind to something and you feel like that you want to do something, unless it's to play professional basketball, which I will never be able to do, um, you know, if it's something within reach, then I say go for it. Push yourself to do those things you didn't think you'd be good at. And when you do do that, even if you don't necessarily achieve the thing that you're trying to strive for, 
I think the journey that you take pursuing it actually does give you some benefit and it gives you confidence for the next thing. You know, when I first started blogging, blogging wasn't a big deal for me in 2005. I had a lot to say and I loved to write. Speaking though, I was not a good speaker in 2006. As you could hear, if you missed the the earlier part, go back and watch the replay because I aired the very first episode of the Living La Vida Low Carb Show, uh, a little bit of it, and I was so nervous. I was talking like a robot, and it just, it wasn't natural. And yet, over time, it became natural. But that wasn't comfortable for me. And in fact, I didn't even give my first talk at a conference until 2012 when I was invited to come speak in November of 2012 in Australia. Uh, these guys thought, because they'd heard my voice on, on the podcast for years, that I'd done a lot of talks. I had never given a talk in my life. My very first one is it was in Melbourne, Australia. Again, doing something, pushing myself to do something that I didn't think I would be very good at. And now today I'm giving talks all over the world. I'm doing podcasts galore. I'm writing books. I'm doing things that at first I was not comfortable with, was very feeling very inadequate about doing. And maybe you guys can relate to this, something that you just don't feel, I don't know what I'm doing. And yet you keep doing it, right? And as you keep doing it, you get better at it. And as you get better at it, then you master it and you get good at it. And thankfully for podcasting, that's something that I've done. Um, it's something that this this bad boy studio avails me the opportunity of to be able to do audiobooks in here. That was something else I had never done that I pushed myself to do. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. I, I just wish everybody could experience when you push yourself to do things you didn't think you could do. And so for a lot of people, that could be like running in a half marathon. Um, that could be just literally anything in life that you see as a great challenge that, oh my gosh, maybe before you wouldn't have even tried to conquer. I want you to put it on your goal list to do something like that, to set a goal for yourself, to say, you know what? I may not know a whole lot about X, but I'm going to make X my goal. Can you do that? Because I think when we push ourselves, we learn a lot about our character. We learn a lot about who and what we are uh, and how far we can be pushed when we never want to get outside of our comfort zone. A lot of people are very content with just going through the motions of life and just in the day-to-day, -day, just whatever comes along, comes along, and that's just, that's just the way they live. That's no way to live got to be a little bit adventurous. Push yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. And when you do, you're going to be surprised what you learned about yourself. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Again, we are recording live on this Jimmy Rants in my recording studio. This is where I record all of my podcasts and my audiobooks and really anything that I do on audio uh, and or video, uh, other than Jimmy Rance, I, I do it right here. Uh, let's see. Hello, Dory. Thanks for being here. Hello, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for inspiring me on this Thursday. Thank you, Dory. Uh, I've learned I'm good at a lot of things I never dreamed I would be. Uh, keto has given me courage. Yeah. Yeah, it'll do that. And, and I would even say that Keto gets your mind back on right. You know, your head gets screwed back on straight again when you go keto. And so let that motivate you to then use talents and skills that you didn't even know you had. I mean, I was not a natural interviewer when I first started interviewing various doctors. And I was like so nervous. Uh, Mr. I, I mean, doctor. And it was just horrible. But over time, I just said, you know what? My style is very conversational. So why don't I just stick with that conversational style and it's worked. The road to success is lined with many tempting parking spaces. I like that, L. Landrew. Thanks for being here. Um, and yeah, and so the mat, uh, 
it's a matter of picking. You want one by the front door. You want the one by the, the edge of the road. But pick a spot and lay claim to that spot. I lay, I laid claim to the podcasting spot long before people knew that there was a parking lot. <laughs> um, and thankfully, uh, when nobody was parking in the parking lot, I was parked there learning, uh, learning the ropes of podcasting. Bonnie Lene, sometimes we don't have support, so we need to just be our own support. Yeah, yeah, I'd say always be your own support. I'm very lucky. I have a wife who loves me and supports me in my work, and so many of you guys express your love and admiration, admiration for my work as well, so that helps. But yeah, some people feel all alone. Hashtag, that's hogwash. Yes, yes, story. Uh, bu, 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 bu. I had a panic attack before my first live with Ken Berry. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's always funny to me too is, um, uh, and we're talking about pushing yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. A lot of people's very first time they were ever on a podcast was on my podcast. Um, I know Diane Sanfilippo from the paleo world, the very first podcast she ever did was the Live in La Vida Low Carb Show. And it's just funny to me now looking back how inadequate I felt being a podcaster and then all these people now coming onto my podcast and they're feeling inadequate about being a guest on a show of a man who felt inadequate about a podcast. So it just goes to show you, you dream big and you think that you're going to be good at something and you become good at it. Fear of failure is something most of us need to learn how to overcome. Nancy, you are right. Uh, people do fear failure. But you know what? There was one very famous person in American history who failed every single time until he won the first time. And if you look back in history, lost election to the state senate, lost election to the U.S. Senate multiple times. But until he won the president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln never won anything. So he is definitely a fine example of not quitting just because you failed at something. Thank you, Joe Ed. Appreciate that. Joshua Winslow, my daughter, would love to have access to your studio to play her saxophone and guitar for jazz. Guess I start, better start building her one. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I, I, I have a fan up there. It keeps me cool. And then all this is all around. And when I do video podcasts, I've got like a little lights over there I can turn on. So it's pretty darn cool. This is my first time here. I need to get out of my comfort zone in so many areas. Steph Lynn, 1977. Welcome in, by the way. Uh, welcome to Jimmy Rants and, and to my podcast recording studio. I don't think I've done a Jimmy Rants from in here before. Uh, but yes, get out of your comfort zone. And people like to stay in the comfort zone because they like to be comfortable. And comfortable, there's nothing in and of itself wrong with being comfortable. What there is something wrong with is staying there at the price of neglecting the gifts and talents that God has given you. If you've got gifts and talents and you're not using them, those gifts and talents are being wasted. And so maybe you don't realize you have gifts and talents until you push yourself to test to see how you do under pressure, under fire. So do that. I hope a lot of you guys are taking this message to heart today because I'm nothing special in the grand scheme of things. I'm just a dude who decided to grab a microphone at the urging of someone who saw talent in me that I didn't see. And I grabbed the microphone and I just started jibber jabbering. And as soon as I started doing that and I built some reputation um, online, that's when it took off. And I think for you guys, whatever part of your life that you need to push yourself to do things that you're not really sure if you're good at or not, the only way you'll know is if you try. And if you fail, that's okay. Failure is a part of the recipe for success. I hope you hear that loud and clear. When you fail... That is a part of your future success, okay? So you have to keep that in mind, that just because one thing doesn't work doesn't mean you dwell on it and, oh, and it's just horrible. 
No, it means that particular thing was not right. You move on to the next thing. But always push yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. Everything comes full circle. Yes, Story, it does. I fear success. I got failure uh, down. Yeah, most people, they can nail failure. But I would say, rather than saying that you nail failure, the way you truly nail failure is you learn from the mistakes. And when you learn from the mistakes and then you become successful, that's when you know that you've achieved exactly what you were looking to do, uh, which is why pushing yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at is so critical because you might try and fail, try and fail, try and fail, but on that fourth, fifth, sixth time that you try and succeed and maybe uber succeed, that's the pay dirt of all those failures and the lessons that you learned from them. Hello, Ashton. Thanks for being here. If we don't venture out, we will stagnate. Yeah, Ashton, you're right. I love that you say dude. Dude. Uh, let's see. Thank you. I needed to hear this today. Thank you, Steph Lynn. So if you're just joining us, we've been talking about having the mindset of pushing yourself to do things you didn't think you'd be good at. And in the process of that, you become good at something and it becomes a purpose in your life. So I've been giving the example. It's why I have this egg crate blue background today. I'm in my podcast recording studio. This is where all the magic happens for my podcasts and my audiobooks and everything that I do uh, with interviews on other people's podcasts. I have some lights up there when we do video podcasts that shine down. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I even have this standing work desk that can raise up. Pretty cool, huh? And so I can stand up. So, uh, so yeah, um, I didn't think I'd be good at podcasting. And yet here I am, 2006, what's that? Almost 13 years been podcasting. Man, that feels so long. I feel so old. <laughs> but people know my name around the world because of the podcast that I do and because of the work that I do like on this Jimmy Rant. So uh, I think it's a beautiful thing when you find your purpose and your mission in life. Ashton says, never give up since we don't know if the next try will be the one that works. Exactly. That's exactly right. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of Jimmy Rants. As always, go to JimmyRants.com. And we start off on Instagram Live. So we have all these beautiful people down here on Instagram that are engaging in the content live. So that could be you as well. Go follow me at livinglowcarbman at charter.net. Uh, even Cicely Brummer Lowe from South Africa, who just popped in. Uh, you know, anywhere in the world, you can watch this and engage in the content. And so um, follow me there, Living Low Carb Man. And then you can watch the replay for 24 hours on Instagram. Then it disappears from Instagram. But never fear, we put it on YouTube. Go follow me on YouTube. Um, and you can see all of the past episodes. And then we also have a Jimmy Rants podcast where we take the best of the best moments from these here Jimmy Rants episodes and we put it in podcast form. So go check that out. All of this, you guys, is at jimmyrants.com. So thanks for joining me in my podcast recording studio. And until next time, we'll see you then.